Dude, somebody took my rock. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I waited out the night and someone stole my rock. It's actually messed up. Welcome back to another Rust console video. For this wipe, I duoed with Pushy, which I just met for the first time in my last video. He was super chill and a really good teammate to play with, so I figured why not see how a duo wipe goes. And sure enough, we snowballed into a ton of PvP, raid counters, and raid defenses within three days. I also learned that Rust has a lot to do with timing, and right now we were starting this wipe at 5.30 p.m. You'll understand more as you watch. So, I hope you guys enjoy. It's a PlayStation player. Oh yeah, there's like so many PlayStation so kids in here. Let's see how yeah. that comp is. Oh yeah, and a bunch of people kept saying to play crossplay servers, so I tried one out this time. And pretty much all the players were PlayStation players. Oh my god, so <laughs> many PlayStation kids. Full pop yeah, too right now. Oh man. Yeah, those are already big bases. P10's pretty big. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of decent size bases. Yeah. Uh, uh, in 09, in the water. After looking around, our best option for a build spot was somewhere on the right side of the map, so we could be close to the more important monuments to progress. More in the middle of the yeah, map. We gotta find a build spot and get a base down, and we'll be good. Pretty flat right here. Yeah, it's. This ain't a too bad spot either. I think I'm gonna base up the, a little starter, a little starter up here on the hill. I don't know what kind of base I want to build yet. The fuck? No, and I'm dead. We got double. I camped under a base until things cooled down, and then put down the starter under a few trees. Fair farming real quick. Is base full stone or not? No. Alright, any stone nodes I'm over there? Now that the base was down, I went out to hit a few barrels. At Lar, Tommy. There's a three man right here. Two roadside, one has he. And I'm dead. I go. Ooh. Four kills on. There's a dude putting down a base right where we want to put main base at right now. I see it. It's twig. What did that leave? Oh my god, another road sign and shit. What the fuck? In there? Yeah. Oh my god, I missed every shot. <laughs> <laughs> no! As soon as I want to get behind the wall. And of course. Within five minutes, our main build spot was taken by a three man with guns already. Not to mention they somehow built their base out of sheet metal too. This server was super active, which I really like. All we needed now was to grub for our first guns. So we made a Yoka's and went into the opposite direction for a roam. Upgrade our grub weapons real quick. It would be big if we could get us fast. and jump inside of it. You're going greedy in there. Yeah, it's open on the other side. It's open on the yeah. Flame you gotta, flame rating something. You got a cost. Oh, you get him. <laughs> he got custom DB spas. Yeah, we gotta dip with this. No ammo on none of them. What the fuck? Pompey kid right here dead. Dead. I don't even know where he is. Is he on the base? Dead? Oh my god. I got Tommy. Alright, run with that. Does he have ammo? 14 bullets. I got a custom, spaz, water pipe, DB, pump, and Tommy. And 400 low grade. Pushy grabbed a bunch of guns, but we heard more shooting from the same area once it turned day, so we quickly went back. I see a guy picking pumpkins. He just awesome. out of a custom. There's a kid on top of the base if I had a crossbow. Get inside to too. Yeah. Naked as a custom. Hit him. There's a hat. I think there's a hazzy. Rev kid. 
Oh, look, there's a kid pushing right here. Tommy kid dead? I got Tommy. Rev kid dead. There's a kid pushing you. Kid oh, you good. Killed him. Alright, I got the Tommy. Cooking some nice sulfur, it took that. <laughs> oh, it's the back here. It's back in place. I'm coming. I'm dead, no. Dead? Nice. Oh my god, he was farming. P5 follow, full inventory of farm and a jackhammer. Now that we had a few guns to work with, we gathered enough scrap to make a level two workbench and then it was time to bring them out. Oh, there's a kid in front of us, 320. Uh, don't, don't shoot on him yet. Dead, there's another one. Let's get out of Jackie on him. You get the other. Might open. Bolt that. Put my kid on. Jackie. I'll open the drop this bad stuff. I see. I see two kids coming. I see two kids coming. Um, two hundred. Has he hit three times? Hold on, let's, let's make this a base. Hold on, let's make this a base. Oh my god, shit. bro. <laughs> I got a TC too. Loaded, 400 scrap. <laughs> I can't hold him under this. Bro, what is going on here right now? <laughs> Dead? Oh, I'm dead. It's the dead outside. It's the Tom. Yeah. Bro, every time I die, I just like don't even have a chance to do nothing. They just insta kill me. So much fucking loot. Loaded. No, I just got door camped. Shoot, kids. I got door camped at the end, but at least I depoted all the loot that we got from that crazy roam. As soon as we got back to that new base, we transferred it all, and it didn't take long for people to find out where we lived. How are they finding our base? I think he doesn't have any more DB ammo. He's, hold he's not holding it out. I looted your body. There's one. Looks like these nails out here. Okay. We're gonna raid it? Oh. Yeah. So there's one camp in the front door and there's one get one empty pocket at the wall. Hit him and headshot him, he's not dead. I see all this, I see all this, I see all this. Just gotta get a main base down so we can actually be safe. Got a million grubs on this server. I don't even want to go outside now, I'm scared. Another pump kit out there, bro. Like, how many, like, bro. I just went out there and killed, like, there three of them. A million and still bodies. More. Somehow, after that huge scramble and a million bodies all over the floor, I sealed the base, and the best thing they took was a couple Tommies and MP5s. We still had plenty of loot to continue.
but now we had to move fast before it was too late, so I immediately went out to find a new build spot. But honestly, we could just base up right here. In P8. This snowball just been crazy. Oh, this boss is crazy. I ended up rebuilding the same base for my last video because we needed to build it quick, but comment some base designs I should build next and I'll make sure to switch it up for my next videos. Once the starter of the base was down, we started to transfer the best loot, but on our way back from our new base to grab more loot, we found out some valuable information. He's in like the our house. base looked so hidden, now it's just in the open. They farmed every tree around it. This time it gets up here. He's opening doors. I hit one. He's opening doors. One dead. All dead. Getting lost. Quick little lick. So those are the people who tried raiding us. We didn't realize it until now, but the team that tried raiding us lived right above us on this hill. Their base looked really weird, but it did have two layers of compound walls. So it was a threat for us at the time, and I was glad we moved. Next we took some time farming to expand the base, and we killed a loaded farmer along the way. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Time to depot. Then we went back to roaming for more PvP. Yeah, I killed the This kid had a bulky laser suppressor. It was a getting lost kid. That getting lost kid just texted me and said, where do you guys move to with a smiling face? These nakeds were the same people that tried raiding us earlier, and now they were sending messages to Pushy asking where we moved to. I'm not sure why they had it out for us so bad from the very beginning, but they were quickly becoming our main enemies. And to really seal the deal of them being our enemies, we went right back out for more PvP and ran into them with guns. He's crossing the road, he's down there. 2 210. They're head boosting onto the roof. One's on the roof, one's down. I see it. They killed us both with real guns this time, so now things were starting to get interesting. Killed one. He's low as fuck. Is he Tommy? Yeah, it's me Tommy. Killed a naked, I don't know where the other rev kit is. Killed him. You just drop down. Another one. Full kit hit three times. I'm one shot, I'm one shot. Hit him twice. Oh, bear's on me. I got one of them, absolute. Full Full kid I killed them all, I killed them all. So, it was getting lost. Is that a full kit? No, full words on. So we just got two full kits and a full words on. Bro, we played that so good. These clips were a little spread out, but in between our last fight and this fight, the only thing I did was expand the base for 30 minutes. This was becoming a real rivalry, and I knew for sure they wanted to raid us. Now remember I mentioned at the beginning of the video about timing. This is where it came into play. As I mentioned, we started this wipe around 5.30pm, and now it was already 11pm. If we started this wipe earlier in the day, it could have gone completely different, but at least it would have given us the entire day to get a solid base down. But since we started late, and now already had people that wanted to raid us, we had to strictly worry about expanding the base before we got off. So we farmed while also getting into one little fight, which we won. Yeah, 
dead. Yeah, he's, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. There's a drop here, that's why he's here. Is that all the bodies, or do I need to loot something? You're probably gonna have to loot something. Over here. With this guy. And then I expanded the base until we ran out of stone. Alright, the base isn't complete. Uh, there's no shooting floor yet and no compound, but we kind of started late in the day and now it's 3.40 a.m. We made pretty good progress and I don't think anyone knows where we live. Like nobody chases back to the base. So besides that one team we just fought out here, but I don't think they're gonna come raid us or anything. So I think we're good for the night. It's only stone, so we are easy raid, but we at least have uh, two full kits to defend with. I'm actually gonna keep my Xbox on all night and blast my volume. So if we do get raided, I'll at least be able to defend it. So I put all the kits back right back here. So this is my little road sign kit. But then we got like all the guns that we got today. Not, there's not all of them, but these are like the ones we can actually defend with. And then two full kits right here. A few more hazy road sign kits right here, and yeah. Yo, pushy, pushy, pushy here. Unfortunately, at 5.50 a.m., the same team that wanted to raid us actually showed up. After looking back at it, I could have done a few things differently, but getting waken up from a deep sleep to rockets, and then being in our core within four satchels and four rockets, I couldn't really do much. I had no building materials to seal because everything we had, we used on the base, and the rest was in TC for upkeep, which they already broke before I could do anything. So after trying to run back multiple times and dying every time, I decided to just go back to bed. When I got on a couple hours later, I realized they never got to our gun box or toolbox. And just like any other Rust experience, there's nothing better than playing for revenge. So to start things off, I disconnected the outer TCs to place the main TC back down. Then I went out with just a water pipe to some Tommy shots I heard nearby.
god. After almost going deep, I felt like this could have been a really easy raid because I know exactly where the TC is and we had 2C4 to do it. So I waited for Pushy to get on and we went to raid. Is he? Hit him and headshot him. Are you aiming for you? Dead? Nice. Hit, hit me twice on my back. I hit the whole metal twice. Uh, I hit him. Doubled him and Supposed then hit him twice in the body. Just the loot wasn't amazing, but it was definitely stuff we could use, so it was worth it. Not too long after this, our neighbors in the water started to get raided. He's on roof, the launcher. They're in, they're in, they're in. I saw one. He's so one weak dead. on me. I'm dead, what did I die to? He just HV'd for no reason. He just one more inside. I'm getting yeah. shot at. He just whiffed a whole mega MP on me. You're good, you're good. There's a snowball launcher guy behind you. Oh my god. Yeah, there's an MP kid chasing. MP kid with burlap chasing you. Yeah, he's gonna be outside though. Get on roof maybe. Seven if you rockets. Kill him. Eight rockets. Let's go. Oh my god. Pushy grabbed eight rockets from the raiders, and our neighbors killed the rest to win the raid defense. We definitely wanted to use the boom to get us back on our feet, but we didn't know who to raid. And not too long after this, we found the perfect target. Wait, what the fuck? Did I really make this stone? There's one full kit over here. Depot, depot, depot right now. There's, there's legit one full kit. Just sitting behind this one odor to see. He said two times. Push, push. He's dead, he's dead. Tell me, kid. Oh, close, close, close. Rest, rest, rest. Gotcha. Pinch me. One hit three times, one close. And doubled. Hit one well, man. They're coming back over this way. Hit another one well, man. The hat you that killed you got killed right after he killed you. Oh, there's two hazies. 
two more. I see the dead body though. We died to a new team on the block, and after respawning on a random bag, I saw them run into their base, which was only a 2x2. Two two. But I didn't think about raiding them yet, until Pushy started fighting them again. You shooting at them? Yeah, they were close, I had it. They got shot and got away. Yeah, they just took off in a boat. It's that three man with the um, M39 and shit. I mean, we can raid their base. Stone base. Bro, raid them. You wanna? You wanna? I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pushy saw all three players from this team leave on a boat to cargo. Now in my opinion, a roam raid is nothing but smart, because even though they're just starting out, they could have made a few upgrades to their base or chose not to leave for cargo, knowing that they can get raided at any moment. There's no timeouts or grace period, and that's what makes this game so unique. And that's also why this game has a lot to do with timing, because timing can make the impossible possible. Now they just upgraded only the CC to Hawkwa. What am I doing? Damn, we can't even head boost up there. Do you have like a rock or like Probably build somewhere. Wood? You gotta be somewhere I can build. Oh no, it is high cool. It is armored. You just, just blow it and then we'll see what it is. Like the door on the TC. Armored. Armored. Anything in there? Farm. We're gonna have to four rocket this. Wanna four rocket this? Yeah, I didn't bring I didn't bring it though. I gotta go, I gotta go get it. And we got a T30 now at 700. Hopefully they strength. come back with cargo loot and they come through the doors and we just smoke them. And it's unlocked. Oh my. Oh. oh we gotta yeah. go deep up. A row of full kits in here. There, yeah, we gotta go. We quickly transferred all the loot and then waited for them to come back from cargo. They're here. They're here. They're here. All three. One dead. Another one dead. You gotta get here. They're like so loaded. Kill him, kill him, kill him. All dead. Oh my god. They're so loaded. Bro, I didn't come because I did not expect them to oh come god. back. I oh thought my they god. Died. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh I hit him five times. Kill him. Literally insane amount of loot. After over 30 minutes, Pushy ended up giving up on them coming back, but I waited, and then eventually heard footsteps. If I were them, I would have probably threw my entire setup out the window. They came back with one of the most loaded cargo runs I've ever seen, and then lost it all to a room raid and a pump shotgun. After transferring all of that loot, I finished the compound so we could start smelting metal in the big furnaces. Then we actually needed gears for more garage doors. So I was hitting barrels on the road when Pushy started fighting two full kits. Hit like 10 times. Dead. Nice. There's another one. Back on his ball. He's hit twice. Hit him four times. Dead. Killed himself in fishing village. I'm pretty sure I can see when he comes and loots it, and then I can just chase him out and kill him. Another kid was like. Right now.
yapıyorum. I think that's their base right there, so just loot it and dip. He's just sitting on his roof. The server is honestly confusing. They got a full sheet metal base, and that base just popped up there. And they already got full kits. That other base is a, it was a 2x2. Two two. They already had full kits. Yeah, I don't get it. Like, it's just. Bases just be popping up with mad loot out of nowhere. And then the people that took our build location, they were full road sign and upgraded their base to sheet instantly. Yeah. After finessing another full kit, we both went AFK for a bit, but I put down all the garage doors I could and then heard a satchel raid going down. Yo, Pushy, I think there's a raid. It was the same base we raided, but these guys blew in through the wrong ceiling, so they didn't get any loot. I was gonna go back, but there was a drop right outside the base, and another fight broke out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This was the first real fight I had with my close neighbors. One of them having a big China Wall base and the other on its way to being pretty big as well. Not long after this fight, the China Wall base chose to raid the base in the water. Another raid, holy hell. Oh, they got a turret set up. How many times is this base gonna get raided? Point of that, bro. Fucking idiot.
I think I was stuck in there. He just dropped all those guns and I picked them up. I'm not sure how many times I showed this base getting raided, but from what I remember, this was the third time they defended a raid. Towards the end, I got out with a couple of guns, but nothing too big. Next, we went to water treatment for the Chinook raid, but we died. And when we respawned, there was more fighting right outside the base. Oh. I hit them both a lot. Hit them again. Hit them again. Two more times. Hit a wall. No, no. way. No. No way, bro. Fucking ripped the road sign. What? Dead, dead, dead. We're getting camped. The pump, maybe. Stems. Oh, please. <laughs> Five has these two road signs. This is when we realized we couldn't fight anywhere near the China Wall base, or else we'll just get roof camped. Luckily, I grubbed some loot at the end to get even, but I'm sure they didn't like that. We needed cameras and laptops for auto turrets because we had none to defend our big furnaces, and we also felt it was only a matter of time before we got raided again. So we decided to run small rig and hope we didn't get raided while we were gone. Maybe people here and blues. How would there be an M2 when there's blues though? The only other thing I could think of is Wait, a real person. Wait, it sounds with like Kurt started. Maybe people they're thought. dead and they just they just. Didn't <laughs> yeah, there's heavies here. They're coming. Like. I Killed one. Oh. Well done. I need more pistol. Wait, there's something. Unless that's a sound. Now there, there's two girls inside the room. Oh yeah, my a god. A yoga kid and a DV kid. How do they do that? I don't know. Can they open it from in there? You need stems, I have a lot. Nah. I got a grenade though. If you want to open it. Good. Uh, he just looked down at it. I, I think there's still one more, don't. Yeah, there's still one more to the left. DB. How did they do that? Like, what? It's decent. I has he? Never seen that before. Is that like at our base? That sounds like it. I'm scared, bro. Did they do it? Yeah, they did. My bed's, my bag's broken. Oh my. No way they did it. I swear, my back's broken. Oh, they saw us go. We gotta kill him. Say weird. That has you right there. Can't kill him. He's going around. Yeah, tower set up right here.
Want a headshot hit? One's running out. Been three times. It's the one in, I believe. You dead inside? Nice. Hey, fo focus on ceiling. I'm gonna hold the breach. Don't let me jump. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Second. No! Kill the get. I'm gonna bleed out. I just bled out. Oh my god! I, I killed. I killed one. He's not. Killed him. There's one going out right now. Naked. They blew the door to the compound. All you gotta do is place the door right there if you can. Gotta blow it to that thing. I'm gonna try. Alright, I'm on a 10 second. I'm gonna spawn in my inner peak. I got one. Good one. Good one. Naked coming in. There's a naked down in the first floor. Kill them. I see you. Um, the crafting building. Alright, give you the loopy full kits. I'm crafting building plan right now to seal the base. It honestly sounds like there's someone in our base. Dude, it I'm won't blue. even let me see. I'm, it. I'm dying now. I don't know if I'm blue is actually crazy. I don't got outers here. I don't got outers. Yeah, you, you, you lose. With those bodies, it's so loaded. There's still a kid inside. Where is he? Peaks or? Oh, no, oh I see him. He's first floor. Anybody. There's two. There's two. There's two. I'm gonna get on the, I'm gonna get in the window. He's inside first floor now. One's one HP. One dead, one dead. I'm dead, I'm dead. He's in the, he's by TC. Nice. Dead. Here, I got a door. Seal it. It's dropped. It won't let me see it because the outer is small. Oh my god! Oh my god, Bushy. There's go so much loot. The we, we gotta hurry up and seal the base though because that's that they can legit just explode ammo on that door. Up. One dead on the hill. I'm weak. You can see it on point. 
armor seal. Some way or another, we defended the raid and now had three times more loot than we had before we left for Smoil. I don't even know who tried raiding us, but it was either the China Wall base or the Water base and they were countering each other until we got back. At this point, I guess we can qualify it as defending the raid, but I knew these guys weren't done with us. So I wanted to put up a second layer of compound walls and get as many turrets up as we could. This way, if they came back stronger, we'd still be able to put up a good fight. I also wanted to raid our first enemies, but we haven't seen them online all day. And after quickly passing by their base, it was decayed. I was more concerned on getting our base ready for another raid defense. And when I went to go craft more garage doors, we once again had no more gears. So I ran the airfield puzzle which didn't give me any gears anyway, disconnected the TCs again so I could replace the main TC, tech tree to auto turret, and then went back out to hit more barrels until we ran into some players. Hold up, I need to lock in on this. He's running. Keep him distracted. Hit him three times. Oh, he's so low. He's so low. Hit him again. He's got to be dead. He's flying at night on it. Be back. Nah, oh. I gotta open the door. Come back out right now. Hit him so much. Yeah, killed him. Oh no, he's not dead. All right, hit him. Hit him. There we go. Yeah. Hit him a million times. After gaining two more full kits, I hit the top of launch and AFK'd for a second great spawn. Then I went on a farm to get stone for the second layer. I finished the second layer of compound walls, used up most of our scrap on the tech tree, put sheet metal doors on the frames we couldn't put garage doors on, filled up the lockers, and after one of the most insane second days on this server, I got off for the night. In the morning, we weren't raided, but I heard AK shots in the distance, so I got on the roof to check it out. Where the hell is that new base? They rebuilding right there? Are they allied or what? To help them take heli and then didn't shoot at him. And that guy's just not shooting at him. Let me go over there naked and check their names. If they're allied with the base in the water, and they're not, they have to be allied with this base. Blue pin. Look at that, look how breathing it is. You kidding me? Two peas right here. Oh, there's the third one. Oh, they're not even paying attention. Awesomeness, okay, yeah, this is the guy from this base. Who's this? Blue pin. Who's this? Willard Ming. Okay, yeah, so they're definitely allied. Just don't really know. Okay, yeah, they're just, it's just another team or something. They're helping start their allies. Now they're just gonna be deeper. Unlucky for us, there was a third big base being built right next to the China Wall base. 
And after running over there naked, I confirmed that these guys were clearly allied with the China Wall base because one of the players that live in the China Wall base opened a door to the new base. I felt a raid was coming, but I didn't know when, and they didn't do it last night so it could happen at any moment. With Pushy not being on yet, I didn't leave the base for long periods of time, but I did go on a morning farm run, and then quickly went to cargo for a counter. I can probably leave with this. There's three of them. It'd be pretty hard to kill. They're giving me the rib to leave. They're just staying in the front. Kind of just want to try to get his gun real quick and then leave. Yeah, AK. Alright, I'm out. After cargo, I went back to farming and kept running into neighbors from the water. MP5 shots, hold up. Better place down a wall. I'm out of there. Let's go. I'm just way smarter. I'm just the smartest. You're better. No. I'm better. <laughs> I'm better. I do this a shotgun. Oh my god. What is it? What do you get? Uh, MP5 Jackie, and it's like the neighbor. I I keep fighting these guys for like all morning. I've been fighting these guys honestly. Is yes, there? Even though the PvP was tied this morning, meaning he killed me once and then I killed them, this was their final straw. Yo, Obi, Obi, Obi. Listen, don't open no more doors. Just listen. You're in the base? Yeah, and they're in the base. I, I killed two of them. I took two of their kits. So some of them have no kits. Listen, I took their boom too, so they have no boom. They're just in the base trying to get deep. They're they're on the floor. They're on the floor right below the floor that you're on. Oh, they brought another C4. I think they're blowing. They're they're in the base. You gotta like jump on the roof. Oh, you gotta jump off the roof and play them outside. If we, if somehow we can get a hammer, we can pick up the turret and place it right in front of us. Look, look. Where are you at? They're trying to jackhammer up the bedwood. They're blowing. They're blowing right up through the square. They're trying to jackhammer and everything. How many? There's like, there's like three in base. There's three in base, one in raid base. Bro, the raid base is legit a one by one. I really wish you could take a shower, bro. Of course, like. Go in through shell and go right up to inner peak. Come in. They move loot out? No. Come on, in here we're just gonna push the skin and inner peaks. Come on. Ready? Open this. They're right, right in front. One down below. Behind, 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 
I died. We got to get back down there fast. All dead, all dead, all dead. All right, try, try to seal if you can. We'll spawn in it right now. Another one, I'm dead. Oh, he's, there's one, there's just one. Are all the kids gone? There's, there's um, in here. Dead. The other one's one shot. There was one inside the inner peaks jump up, and I didn't even know. And right when I went in, he killed me. No. Oh. oh my god. Well, we don't have I'm anything lagging. to kill him with. I just can't believe they were ready to give us a full blown online, and I'm not here to defend it because I. God, bro. Bro, listen. When it first started, they were um, they were all sitting down the tower. I sprayed all of them. I killed two of them on the turret, and all the rest were all hit, and they were all panicking. And then one was in like a little raid base, like it's a one by one raid base. And so legit, it was so easy to hold. I knew exactly what window he was gonna peek at every time. I killed him in there three times, and then I killed the rocketer, and then he came back naked. I killed him again. There was legit just one rocketer left. And I died and they got their loot back and then I killed them all when they were trying to push them for so dirty. Unfortunately, it was the end for us. They got everything we had besides our AKs in the bunker, which they were eventually going to soft side into anyway. If you're wondering what happened, then I'll explain. After I killed both of them outside their base, I hopped into the shower for approximately 15 minutes. And within the first 5 minutes of me leaving, Pushy logged into six of them all full kit on the hill setting up a turret. He fought them off as much as he could, but by the time I got back, they were already inside our base, and we had one good chance of killing them. The timing of me leaving for 15 minutes and coming back to people in my base is almost unbelievable. I've been playing non-stop for the past two days and barely left my setup. Even throughout the night, I haven't turned my Xbox off the whole time and blasted the volume to make sure that even when I wasn't there, I'd be able to hear it. But it only took that small window of time for it to be pretty much over. Either way, it was a super fun wipe, and I'll definitely be playing with Pushy again in the future. If you made it this far, let me know in the comments if you think Rust timing is worse than God timing. Also, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.